Hi everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys are having a great day today. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. So today I have another fun project we're going to be using with the card kit from July. This is a Trace Jolie card kit tag and more kit and so here we got we already did a few items with this so I'm down to just scraps <laughs> with this card uh, with the design paper and everything and so um, we do have a die that is really nice die and um, we've got some flowers left over we've got some um, cut apart pieces that I fussy cut out and I've got some more card uh, pieces here like I said it's just basically scraps here so let's go ahead and get started all right so to begin you're going to grab your pattern paper from the card kit and you're just going to go ahead and get those scraps and I think this one is about two by eight um, or yeah I think it's two by eight and I just cut this in half and then I grabbed cardstock that was in my scrap pile and I just grabbed whatever cardstock I had and I just went ahead and matched it up to the measurements of my pattern paper and um you know that way i used a lot of it that was like two by two by three or two by eight uh two and three quarters by you know whatever and i just went from there whether it was white cream blue and you'll see here in just a bit i used a lot of different ones <laughs> next i wanted to go ahead and remind everybody to use those paper shaper scissors the ones that cut different shapes on your papers and you can make some really nice edging on your tags and that's what i'm doing here okay so this next part we're going to make a little envelope and this is eight by six and three quarters on the eight inch side you're going to score a half inch on each end okay so that's the left and the right side next you're going to turn this and you're going to score a one inch and then score at four and now we're ready to start cutting this so again you're going to go ahead and score uh, on the eight inch side at one inch and then at four inches okay next you're going to go ahead and cut that little section below the four inch line that you just scored and this is just the little flap that's the half inch right below the four inch score line and you're just going to cut both the right and the left side off and then after this we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut the little squares or rectangles that are up on top so they are on um they're the little ones that are uh, the half inch and right above uh, the one inch side or one inch score line I mean and you're just going to cut those off and then I went ahead and beveled my little edges here and you can do the same thing um, this is just an envelope that we're creating so you just want to make sure everything kind of like you know fits nicely together so you could stick a little card or whatever you would like inside Next, I grabbed my corner rounder and I just went ahead and rounded the top portions of the corner for the envelope. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to burnish everything down at the score lines to make sure that everything is fitting correctly. And now we can go ahead and we can put this together. Next, I went ahead and added my double back tape to the little flaps. And uh, you want to put those on the front side of those little flaps there. So they're going to fold in, and then you're just going to go ahead and the bottom flap, you're just going to attach to your little wings, okay? This envelope is so easy to make, y'all. I absolutely love it because it's just super easy. So if you're ever in a pinch, you could just totally whip this out, stick a small little card or something inside, and just mail this off to somebody. Super easy peasy. 
So next, I'm just grabbing my double back tape, the thin one, and I think this is about a 1 8 inch strip, and um, you're just going to go ahead and place that on the inside of that so it can have a closure. Next, I brought in a little tag that I created out of scrap uh, cardstock, and uh, I just, I think it's two, two and three quarters by six and five eighths and this is actually going to fit inside of that little envelope we just made and um, again you're just going to measure out what you need and you know how big you want your envelope you know you don't have to make it the size I made you can definitely make it a different size this is actually um, this top part is actually from the die set that we got in the card kit and look how it fits that little gift card right there inside of the little tabs there um, i really thought that this little die set was a cute way to just add a really pretty border around a gift card or a card and you can use the long strip the same way just stick your car your pattern paper you know uh, uh, inside of that little border there and I just think it's really super cute so here I'm just adding a little ribbon just to make it a little more festive and um, I'm just tying a little ribbon inside of the holes there and I'm just going to go ahead Okay, so next I brought in a stamp, and this again is from that uniquely creative stamp set that was in one of the card kits previously. And then I just went ahead and stuck that right inside of our little envelope we just created. And you can definitely just, you know, you, you don't have to do what I'm doing if you want to just mail it in that envelope you can do that um, I went ahead and made like a little flag banner um, to just put up on top of there and I just popped it up with foam tape again I used the happy birthday from that um, card kit that was previously available in the shop I'm not sure if it's still available but if it is I will definitely go ahead and put the link down below and I just went ahead and popped that right in the front so I can add it to my gift so next I went ahead and grabbed this little tag that we're going to do. Again, I went ahead and placed the wooden pattern paper on top of some of my blue cardstock and then used some lace scraps that I had in my stash and placed that on there and then went ahead and did an oval scallop with... Um, uh, little oval inside of there out of the cardstock and then place the stamp inside of the middle and then we're just going to glue that on there and then we're going to use some of these beautiful little flowers that are in the card kit and we're just going to go ahead and set those on top and um Next, I decided to go ahead and grab uh, my butterfly punch and then go ahead and ink that with the pink grapefruit that is in the card kit. And this ink is so pretty. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites now. <laughs> And I went ahead and just stuck that little butterfly right there. And again, I'm using the pattern paper from the card kit to create those little butterflies. And that's it. And then I grabbed some of my flat back pearls and I went ahead and stuck it on top of the little butterfly and then decorated the flat back pearls around the tag. Now we're going to go ahead and just make some little tiny tags and with this I went ahead and folded a piece of cardstock that I had in my stash in half and you could tell it's probably about two inches or so and then I just snipped off the edge to make kind of like a tag and it's a tag card so it's just a little tiny one so we could use the rest of our pattern paper scraps and I went ahead and used this brick scrap that I had and I thought it fit perfectly so I went ahead and just traced around it um, on top of you know using the tag top and then just cut it out and then just kind of trimmed it up from there and then used that top tag as my template to cut the back as well 
So I went ahead and just used up that whole strip uh, in a matter of seconds. <laughs> So, yeah, so this is something that you could do too. Uh, super fast and easy, you know, definitely perfect for a little gift or something or a thank you, a little thank you card or something. Um, if you're sending somebody, you know, maybe a good, well, some, you know, um, gift, then you can go ahead and put that little card in there. And then here, I just went ahead and stamped a, a gift for you on a couple of pieces of cardstock and paper, and then just cut this out, and def this is going to be my little sentiment for the front. So I did stamp on top of that little brick pattern paper, and I was going to go ahead and use this lace. That lace is just a scrap that I have, and I've been trying to use it up. <laughs> And then I went ahead and backed that little sentiment up with some of the cardstock that I had and then cut around it. And then we're going to go ahead and pop that up on top of the little tag there. And then here I went ahead and again used some of these little ovals that I had in my stash that had been sitting there. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just use those up. And Put a little flower down there and then uh, went ahead and added a little butterfly and then I went ahead and placed a little blank cardstock on the inside for my sentiment and we're just about done actually so I went ahead and punched a hole for the top so I could add an eyelet and use this as you know like I said a little tag for or a little card for a you know a gift that I'm going to put in a bag and we're done. So the next thing I did is I grabbed this piece here and this has some purple on it and I thought some purple um, cardstock would be good with this and so I used actually a cream colored cardstock. I cut all my pieces out and everything, rounded the corners on the top and then just fit the cards, pe cardstock pieces and the pattern paper to fit the card. So I don't even, I really don't know the dimensions. I mean, there's so many dimensions in this tutorial that I kind of figured you all would get the gist of, you know, how to use your scraps and <laughs> put together, you know, small cards and tags and stuff using your scraps. So here I'm just going to go ahead and fit that right on top of there and then do the same thing for the back. So next I decided to go ahead and use this trim that I had in my stash and I decided to go ahead and just put some double back tape down and go ahead and just place that right on top of the double back tape and then trim this away. And then we're going to use that top piece to do the same thing on the top. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our double back tape and place that on the top. And we're going to go ahead and lay that down. Okay, so next we added that little piece up on top. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and decorate. So I love this pattern paper that came in the card kit. Because of the way that it has blank spaces up above the beautiful flowers and stuff, um, you can stamp your sentiment right on top of that cardstock or the, the pattern paper. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and use this big piece here to create a large, uh, just a large card. I don't know if you want to call it a slimline card, um, but I just call it just, it's just a large card. And again, I'm trying to use some of my scraps, but there just wasn't any that were long enough to fit on top of here. So I am going to show you how to place down your ribbon. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this together first, and then um, I'm going to, I'll be right back and I'll show you how to place your ribbon on. Now, for those of you that are new to card making, or if you've not seen this before, um, some of you are avid card makers, so you probably already know this trick, but you tie your ribbon on your card, okay, and you go around 
the top portion of your card okay and then you're going to go ahead and tie your bow all right and then i'm going to show you how you can stick down um, your ribbon without having it um, crinkle or you know have it stay in one place basically so you're going to go ahead and i'm just you know I'm kind of fixing my bow here to get it even and the way that I wanted and just kind of, you know, making sure that it's all good underneath. Um, so I'm just sliding it around so I know where I want my little bow here. Okay. And then I'm going to grab your glue dots. Okay. Your glue dots are going to go right underneath that ribbon. And this is how you're going to stick your ribbon in place, okay? And it is a great little secret because, you know, your ribbon will not move on you and your little bow will not move on you. So once you stick this down, it's going to stay there, okay? Next, you're going to go ahead and you're going to do the same thing with the tails. Now, I did cut my tails a little shorter and I didn't leave them as long. Now, you can leave them long if you want to. Um, you're going to grab your glue dots and you're just going to stick your tails down just like so. And now that is done. <laughs> so um, you can definitely do the same thing on the inside. Go ahead and grab your glue dots and stick it down. And then you're going to go ahead and cover the inside of your card and cover up the ribbon on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my little sentiment. And I did cut that little sentiment in half. So if you ever have a sentiment that you want to cut, definitely cut it because you can definitely use the stamps interchangeably. Okay, so I found some pink cardstock in my stash that was already cut to this size. And I just went ahead and I scored it up on top so that way it would turn into a card. And uh, these these two pieces fit together pretty nice. And again, they're just two and seven eighths by six is what the card size is. And I fit it to fit the cards, the pattern paper that I had left. This is our last card. And here I am just placing my um, pattern paper on top of the uh, card, the front and back, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna decorate this real quick. So I found some lace in my stash and I went ahead and grabbed it and um, I cut two little pieces, put some tape behind it, okay, and then stuck it down. And you guys, this little card turned out so cute. It's so pretty. And um, it's just, you know, you never know like when you go through your your scraps and stuff you could just put things together with your scrap pattern papers and your scrap cardstock and like any of those scrap little uh you know die cuts or you know punches that you have and just throw some little cards together I hope that this video has inspired you to grab your scraps, your pattern papers, and your cardstock, and just kind of match them together and create some tags and little cards for your stash. Okay, you guys, so we are done with all of our little cards and tags and stuff that we created from the scraps that we had in the stash and not only from the stash but scraps from the card kit and we used everything you guys every single thing <laughs> so nothing left really uh just nothing um so the first thing we did was this little envelope here and we created this cute little tag to go in it that holds a gift card and we used a stamp set that is from a previous card kit and um and then we went ahead and did the the front and using our scraps and then here we did another little uh gift tag it's kind of like a little gift card and you can put your little message inside we used the little flowers and i did some little um 
butterflies. And then here is another little gift card that you could put to and from inside. And I just left it like that because I thought, you know, you could just hang that on a little package. Here we use some decorative scissors to create the bottom of our tag and then put like a little eyelet and I left this blank and you can put your message on the back and then here are some more whoops this one came apart gotta fix that real quick yeah, there we go there we go <laughs> I have to glue that down <laughs> Here is this one again. It's a little card and you can definitely put your message inside um, using some of my um, scrap trim and then some little um, diamond dots here. So cute. And then here we have another little tag that we used little scraps on. Here is another one. These are so cute, you guys. And this is building your stash. So if you need a little card or you need um, something really quick, these are just ready to go, right? And then here is a, a little bit larger card. This is the pink cardstock is from my stash. And um, the, the things that we use from the card kit are the paper, the pattern paper behind here, the roses, and um, I made the inside from the scraps and the back. And then I used the um, little banner here is part of the cardstock or from the pattern paper from the card kit. And then this one, we used the last piece of my large pattern paper from the card kit to create a sympathy card. And isn't that beautiful? It's just just so dainty and you know it's sometimes less is more so I just kind of left it like this because I thought you know I you don't want a lot of stuff on a sympathy card but anyway <laughs> I just thought it was super cute I showed the secret on how to get your uh your trim your ribbon to stay as well as your bow and then decorated the inside and so that is all of our little things that we created, you guys. And that is a lot. Um, so I hope this brought you some inspiration to, you know, decorate or grab some of your scraps out of your card kit and go ahead and just use them all up making little tags and cards for your stash. Thanks again for joining me. I have all of the links down below for you. Thank you again. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos, tutorials, YouTube hops, and my Friday Night Lives at 4.30 Central Time.